All right. Hey, welcome back, you science geniuses. I am the bald science guy, and this is your one click science video. Today, our learning target is for you to be able to understand and explain, demonstrate why some things float and some things sink. Okay? We want to use middle school languages, not elementary type language. Okay? We want to use phrases, uh, and I want you to be able to show what you know at the house. Okay? For today's demonstration, we have an aquarium, and I got a can of Coke, I've got a can of grape soda, a can of Diet Coke, and a can of Mountain Dew. The biggest changes in all of these are going to be their ingredients. We'll talk about that later. Okay? All of those cans have the same volume. They're all going to take up the same amount of space. A lot of times in elementary school, we call that the same size. All right, so they all have the same volume. However, their mass is different. Okay, I use the triple beam balance. I think I've got that on the table behind me. All right, and I got their mass. Their mass is close, but they are different. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. We're going to start with the Mountain Dew can. And we're going to set this in the water gently on its side so that no air is going to be trapped. And as we can see, the Mountain Dew can most definitely sank to the bottom. Right? And I think it rests, and you can see that pretty easily. Now I'm going to take my Diet Coke can. Same volume, different mass. Duh. Duh. Okay, so the Diet Coke can is definitely going to float in our aquarium, okay? And I think everybody can see that quite easily. I'm going to stay over there. Now I'm going to take my grape soda can. This grape soda can also has the same volume, and I'm going to set that in the aquarium, and it goes directly to the bottom. Here, let me see if I can slide that back. Maybe you can see it a little more easily, all right? And lastly, the Coke can has almost the same amount of sugar, as the other two cans, but this Coke can has less mass. All right, let's put that in. Oh, it looks like it's going to sink. All right, so wait for it. The Coke can is actually floating. It's right at the surface of the water. So I've got, as you guys can see there, I've got a Diet Coke can who's definitely floating, a Coke can who's barely floating. I've got a Mountain Dew can here that's definitely on the bottom. And I've also got a, all right, a grape soda can that's on the bottom, okay? So two of these cans, all right, are definitely being held up by the water's density, okay? And that's what this uh, one-click video lesson is all about, is density. Density is all about the relationship between the volume and the mass. If these two cans are floating, their density is less than water. Water is holding up these two cans because water is more dense, more dense than the two cans. And that's how your language is different now in middle school versus elementary. In elementary, you would explain this as all of this is happening because of density. Well, now you can say water is more dense than the Diet Coke. And that's why the Diet Coke can is floating, because the water is underneath and the water is holding up the Diet Coke. These two cans, Mountain Dew and Grape Soda, these two cans are more dense and they are under or as under the water as they can be. So the water is less dense. Whatever's less dense is on top. More dense is on the bottom. Okay? All right. That is the difference between elementary language and the middle school language. All right, and to recap, density is all about which, all right, which item that you're trying to compare is more dense or less dense, okay? Density is the king of all physical properties because it's the only property, it's the only property that has two members on its team, mass, all right, and volume, all right? See if I can hold this up better. 
mass and volume are the two members on the team. Okay? All right. Boom. That was easy. Absolutely. So easy. A bald guy can do it. Now, I want you to show what you know. All right? Explain this to somebody. Use phrases like more dense and less dense. All right? Don't just say because of density. All right? I got to go. It's peanut butter jelly time. All right? I had fun, and I hope you have fun, too.